Zero. This is the Peace Dealer, and this is an exciting new series that I have in order to awaken you about the current and everlasting war for your soul. This war on consciousness is indicative of the eternal dance that happens between the light and the dark side. One thing that we all kind of assume when we are born into this life is that we all play for the same side. Not everybody pledges allegiance to the light. Not everyone pledges allegiance only to the dark. You yourself watching this may be for the dark or maybe for the light. This video series will help you know which side you truly belong in and what you're meant to do in that side. This episode, we will talk about the dark side and the light side as far as what these two sides are doing against each other, the purpose of the beef and war. This episode will efficiently help you understand an introduction between what it means for the light to be versus the dark. We're gonna clear up some misconceptions and set the stage for future episodes. Get ready, get set, let's go. So, as you can very clearly see, we have a very popular and interesting depiction of what the light and the dark side clashing together actually look like. You see Jesus on the left and you see the devil on the right. You know what I'm saying? This classic religious depiction that if you even syncretize with other religions, um, kind of are super similar, okay? Jesus, of course, representing the light, and the devil. Some call him Satan, some call him Baphomet, some call him Lucifer, representing the dark, okay? I want you to throw all that out of the window. In fact, the reason why World War Zero is so hard to understand is because of bullshit like this, okay? We're coming out of the Pisces age. Pisces is all about illusion lies okay pisces as a sign itself is not the sign of lying but when you're not based in the truth you get susceptible to all illusions i the most important thing that i need you to understand about the dark and light is that it is not like this okay this is not some religious war this is not some you know what i'm saying sworn epic battle between light and dark. It is an epic battle, but it's not like this, okay? It's kind of more like this. You have the light and the dark playing a game. This picture is also not necessarily the most accurate depiction, but I like how they're both standing side by side. These are, and I will sh uh, show a picture soon about what it really is depicted like, but you know, you have your light, you have your dark. Um, I, I don't personally like the halo and the, the horns because that is also another illusion, okay? Um, especially in the context of living in this dimension, when we talk about the light and the dark and the war against consciousness, sorry, the war over the conscious control of your soul, there's many fronts to this war, okay? Um, there's the World War Zero that you experience as a human vessel in this dimension who has agreed to harness both light and dark. And then there's actually the spiritual manifestation of this war expressed by the light forces clashing with the dark forces all right um without a vessel just by nature of the energy and this is where i'm trying my best as as speculative as this information is you know what i'm saying i'm about to this whole series i'm about to just lay down so much knowledge on you and those of you who have seen the world war zero series before i deleted it you already know Okay, you already know what I'm about to talk about. So um, this this whole light versus dark thing 
Um, you, I'm, I'm here to help you re-evaluate how you see it, okay? Um, like I just said, you harness both light and dark within your own vessel. And it is in this dimension that we become vessels to express this war, okay? It's the war nobody's talking about. It's a war going on. If I, I advise you to check out King Los and his song called War. He's a Pisces. Um, or I think he's an Aries with the Pisces moon. But either way, um, you know, he nailed it. And and regardless of what other artist has nailed this, this has been on for forever. It's a sacred dance more than it is a battle. Okay. It this is scientific, okay? Um you have the negative pole with electrons and you have the positive pole with protons they dance together this is this is just energy okay it's it's not like oh i don't like the dark we're gonna war against it no it it could express itself like that especially in a human vessel which has to deal with conflicting emotions but this is just a sacred dance there's no feelings there's no hard feelings it's just what has to be done darkness clashes with light darkness also balances light so um that's just you know this is the intro video to light versus dark these are just mini concepts that i want to get across your head um of course being episode one the only thing i want you to take away from this okay is that the light side is not good and the dark side is not bad there is no such thing as good and bad. Good and bad are subjective indicators to how experience treats you. That's it. If I think that six innocent children getting raped is bad, I personally feel that's horrible. But that does not make it objectively bad. It is what it is. And that's a huge thing about this war. Me winning $5 million in the lottery or me um, connecting with someone and saving someone's life from suicide is not a good thing. It is what it is. And what this World War Zero is meant to help you do is to shed these moral judgments of good and bad because those are the very things that screw you up and leave you open to manipulation. When people try and bait you to a side, oh, fight for good, fight for bad, fight for causes and ideals that aren't even real. This is the most important thing. You could be on the light side and be the most evil motherfucker ever. You could be on the dark side and be the most pure person ever. Whether you're on the light or dark, it doesn't, it doesn't make you good or bad. It's your own actions and judgments that determine what you are and i can't even say it determines if you're good or bad because good and bad don't exist all right there's a lot of people who are not ready to accept this yet but it is the, the, the fucking truth so either way this is the light side we're going to talk about the light side right now episode two of world war zero we'll go into the light side and when we talk about the light and dark let me go back to the last side when we talk about the light and dark in the context of your chart for you watching this, okay, because I'm going to tie a lot of these concepts to astrology, you want to look at what zodiac sign your sun sign is. So if your zodiac sign is in Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, or Aquarius, you are the light sign period. Regardless of whether your moon sign is in, regardless of whether your north node, your Venus, if your sun is in any of these six signs, you are the light side. Okay. The light side is the beacon of awareness. The light side is what makes conscious understanding and awareness um, be. All right. It's, it's, the, it's the fulcrum of experience. And each of these zodiac signs, as well as houses that they correspond to, give us a different perspective and shade of the light. Aries, of course, being power of identity, the raw spark. Gemini being the truth of the light. The Gemini is the light. Uh, 
Well, you could also say Leo is actually the source of the light. Do I put that there? Libra is the justice. You know, yeah, you have the truth, the identity, and the love, which is the source of all, but you need the actual justice to enforce this power. Sagittarius being the beliefs and the philosophy of what the truth of life means, and Aquarius being the knowledge that is able to help gain wisdom and understanding of the love that is all around us. In episode two, we will go further into what it means if you have planets and signs in the light side and how that influences your vessel here. We get to the dark side now, and we get to the feminine zodiac signs. The dark side is the most misunderstood sign um, due to the advent of religion. And I don't even want to blame religion. This is just limited human understanding. So we, we are meant to make these mistakes. But we kind of cast off the dark side as the evil side, the ignorant side. The dark side is meant to balance out the light side. Because if you have overrighteous zealousness in the light side, you know what I'm saying? All the, all the crusade religious wars, that was light side stuff gone wrong. Okay? It's the occult knowledge that you get from the dark side. It's the dark side that helps cover things that are not meant to be revealed until it's time. It's the dark side that rules timing. It's the dark side that is the yin to the yang of light. So you have Taurus that covers the worth, the value, Virgo, which covers the reality and the facts in a real dimension, Capricorn, which covers the integrity and, and the actual final material manifestation of power. And in Cancer, you have the Holy High Priestess energy, which is the gateway to the dead and other realms and the beginning of magic after Gemini. You have Scorpio, which is the occult, the deep secrets of death, life, rebirth, and transformation. You have Pisces, which is the imagination and the spirit realm. We have no idea what these truly are because we are barely awakening to them. And over the next 500 years, we're going to gain a lot more knowledge on them. Even me telling you about this now is from a limited understanding. Okay, because we have been totally skewed about what these signs really mean. There's a whole bunch of people who think cancer, to be a cancer means you're emotional. No, no. It just means that you have awareness of feelings and the chakra and magic and energy of emotions. Totally different stuff. So this series is really meant to help shake up your understanding of astrology. A lot of traditional beliefs on it, I'm going to smash to dust so that you can wake up in light of new information. In episode three, we will cover more on the dark side. So in conclusion, this is really a better picture of the light and dark. It's, it's ingrained in each other, okay? And during this season, you will understand whether you fight for the light or you fight for the dark. I like to see us like chess pieces, pawns, in this huge game, and the person moving your pawn is your higher self. All right, we can get to the higher, per, you know, philosophy of who's actually playing the game, Aquarius and Pisces, but that's a different episode for a different time. This is a sacred dance. Um, no one human truly fights for only the light or dark. The light or dark works through them. I hope you enjoyed this first episode, and... Until next time. That concludes our introduction to this series. Whether you are on the light side, the dark side, or a double agent, as we will discuss in future episodes, it's important to embrace your role in this war. As human vessels, we are like the little cells in our bodies that make up the body of omni-conscious awareness. So it's very important that you don't stray off the path of what you're meant to do. You can do so, but you're inevitably gonna be brought back to the side you're meant to represent. That being said, until next episode, peace. Everybody wanna know where your boy been, elevating and cultivating the garden. It was written like nonsense.
They will fear the truth mm. Waiting on the Messiah But don't know it's you Thoughts become things It's way better than that mm. Duality and all Preacher won't tell you that I only speak back I only keep it real Most of they sold for the cheapest